Right, question. As we're in the studio arena here talking about the album, give me, please, mm. would you give me, your most hip-hop moment that you can mm. remember ever in the studio? Mm. Man, I got a few. I'm all ears. <laughs> all right. Mm. Man, I could, I'm going to give you two right now off the top of my head. Uh, we was in the studio recording for the second album, and we had a song called, we got a song called This Is The Way, produced by Viasi. Uh, we were doing, Chaos was actually doing the cuts for the record this day, mm -hmm. in, the, in the lab. We was in Soundtrack Studios in Manhattan. Uh, the scratch he was doing was from Run, and when he say, and this is the way we rock the house. Cool, mm -hmm. okay. He's doing it. First pass, I like nah, okay, I'll do it again. I think you need to do it. You can do it better. So I, he kept doing it, and it, maybe like ten minutes later, the door opens up, and he's cutting, doing his, you know, going through it, and then um, the door opened in. We on this side of the room. The door opened in this way, so we couldn't see who was behind the door. We just like, yo, who's that? Yo, his head peeked through the door. We was like, oh shit, why was it run? <laughs> No! Like, hold up. We was like, yo, hold up. So Chaos just froze. We all froze. Me and the team like, um, he's like, yo, uh, y'all mind if I come up in the room? Cause I heard y'all scratching my voice and everything like that. We was like, fuck, get in this damn room and sit right there. He said, Y'all mind if I watch? He's like, do we mind? Like, sit down. Chaos, go, go, do your thing. <laughs> so Chaos starts right. I mean, like, yo, the 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 verse, the cut versions that's on the song was when Run was in the room watching Chaos do it. So fair. Word. So it's like, he really, wow. you know, and the way he stopped the record and everything, my house. <clears throat> as soon as he did that, he looked at Run. Run looked at us. He stood up. He said, I'm good, man. Whoop. He said, I'm good, bro. See, look at that. That was the power of, 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 the, of the story. He yeah. said, I'm good. He said, look, man. He said, yo, I don't know when this coming out. Wow. He said, I just want to say thank you. He said, I'm, I'm highly impressed that your man over there. He said, but I had to come in the room because the way he was cutting, that shit, you know, I was in the hallway, like, who who in there? But I'm like, yo, but for you to pop in, that was like magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you were that, just that there. Was, That's mad. That was just crazy. That was a yeah. crazy moment. And when we was uh, when we recorded Collaboration of Mics for the second album, right? that day was nuts because, uh, you know, we did the song, Me, Tame, Lil Finesse, and Lord Jamar. And, but the day of the session, who shows up in the studio? Showbiz, Fat Joe, uh, uh, Fat Joe's DJ. That was hilarious. He came in the room and went straight to chaos because he saw him at the turntable. He's like, yo, um, I'm going to be doing the cuts on the song today. He was a big dude. So we, <laughs> <laughs> he was a big dude. So we, we didn't even know like what to say because because Fat Joe was like he word is born. Fat Joe came in the room was like yo my man's doing the cuts. We was like uh that's when he went to chaos and I was like yo let um my man let chaos do the beginning cuts like at the beginning of the song you cool with that? And we this is our song and we was like okay <laughs> they just came in with a whole idea and but like the whole energy in the room was crazy so it was like you know all of us is in the room we taking pictures um you know and I, I just. You know that you could tell in the way we were spitting in the song, like everybody was was impressing each other. But the whole session was nuts. And I remember after the song was over, Fat Joe came to me and Tame, and he really said the song was dope. And to fast forward, I we saw Fat Joe in Central Park a couple of years ago, the Stretch and Bobito movie presentation mm -hmm. in Central Park. He came up to me and said, "Oh, what's good?" And I was like, "Damn, you remember my name?" He said, "Why not?" He said, "Y'all artifacts." I'm like. Shh. Yeah. So you never know, you know what I'm saying? People gonna remember you as, as an artist like that. But you know, oh, I remember wow. that day him coming in the studio and saying that. And 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 look, when my man started cutting, I had no problem with that shit because <laughs> we was like, oh, my man is super nice with it. Like, <laughs> do your thing, homie. Like, don't, I ain't gonna bother you. And the shit came out night. He was, and after he was done, he was even like, yo, thank you for letting me, you know, do that. Because he said, yo, I'm, I'm a fan too. We like, damn, like so. The Bronx came in the building, and that was a Bronx, New Jersey song. Uh, even, you know, Jamar might have lived in Brooklyn, but he's from uptown, too. So that yeah. was dope. 
That is one hell of a double whammy that, story, that. boy. And we and we had to be like on point. Like I said, us coming from Jersey, yeah. we had to impress a lot of people to get to, to that point. I think Fat Joe sees the 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 b boyisms in you guys. Like you know, he yeah, I, I I think I think that you know, and I got a Fat Joe probably won't even remember this. Uh, me and Tane was in New Rochelle, and Brand Newbian had a show, yeah. and it was like in the afternoon. Uh, it was the early show. Huh. And um, we was we had we was in the club early doing a sound check with them, and we was me and Tane was sitting down talking to Vance Wright, Slick Rick, Slick Rick DJ. We <laughs> was like, damn, like this is we, when we you know just a normal sound check. Well, right, right, this all sitting and talking to Vance, right? <laughs> so, um, Fat Joe came and sat at the table, and he looked at me and Tane. I heard about y'all. Jamar and Sadat been talking about y'all a lot. I want to battle you. I was like, what? <laughs> right no there, Vance. And I look, I I probably never even said that before. I'm not sure, but like Vance Wright was at the table, like, come on, Joey, you know, leave him alone. We 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 come having a conversation. So he's like, nah, yo, I heard about these dudes. Like, yeah, y'all must be nice if Jamar and Sadat talking about y'all. We was like, damn. So we had no idea Jamar and Sadat were talking about us. And here we are in the corner sitting in the room with Vance Wright and Fat Joe won the won the battle. That was again another moment we was like, damn, that's that's we must be on our way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you're on the right that. track. Yes. That's crazy. That's like uh, a trail. I, I, I best describe a trail of destruction from the moment that you you guys were clocked. It's almost like synergy went click 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 mm-hmm. click click click. Yeah, that, and Jamar, can you Jamar that, said bro? it. Can you we met that? him. And Jamar said that was his first hip hop moment, as far as like a fan experience. Me and Tame. For real? And then, yeah. And then then you know he asked me about that one day. He said, "Remember this picture right here? It was a picture of them at the State Building in Manhattan." In Harlem doing the show. I was like, yeah, that's the day we met y'all. He said, and who the fuck thought y'all would be artifacts today? I said, I know, right? It's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you think, um, I was about to say, can you bottle that? But actually, I want to be more, more specific. You know when you, and speaking personally as well, you know when you have those moments, it's almost like a weird zeitgeist where... What starts off as a weird imposter syndrome all of a sudden becomes your reality and you're mm-hmm. in this ride and things like that happen where you're just like, that's that's nuts. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, like, dude, like, for that, like, for Fat Joe, we know this guy, we, the music and everything. For him to recognize us just from a conversation and to see us, that, that meant, like I said, like, something's about to happen for us. You know, no different than Tame calling, stretching Barbito for, you know, that's how we got on the radio. He made a phone call on the air. He he won the, the contest that week, that night. And even if I called the next week and did mine, it was off the strength of what Tame had did. And that's how we got the invitation to come what? up to stretching Bob to do our freestyle that we did. That got us the deal. Wow. How did we know that was going to happen? That was just by miracle chance. You know wow. what I'm saying? But it also had something to do with Tame skill that that night and us together at the show to show people what we was made of. You never think stuff like that gonna happen. You know, people always think that we got a story where, you know, we sent out a bunch of demos and people, you know, we got these stories of rejection. Nope. You know, we did one 10 minute freestyle session that turned into me talking to you now. How much pride does that give you, bro, to know that you I mean, to me, I'm proud of you guys <laughs> just to know how far you took it. You know what I mean? Like you guys went and this is again, it just it highlights that the, the fan support you have is like super mm-hmm. hardcore. Like the, and, I think and, it's and, tales like this that, that show your salt as an as an artist. 